Rip Payday 2, or like what I used to say in my vocabulary, Rest and Pepperoni Payday 2. On June 8, 2023, has been a worse day to be a Payday fan since Crime Fest 2015. Now, there are three things that kind of uproars the fans. The first one is the Summer Game Fest 2023. Where, of course, we know by in May that Overkill released a teaser trailer. And at the end of it, it shows the gameplay trailer will be revealed in this summer. Well, we're already in summer, and a lot of people speculate we'll be in Summer Game Fest. But that turned out to be not the case. And, of course, I have my expectations were really low, so I did expect it to not to see in... The actual event. But this would have been the best opportunity to reveal some gameplay. But they didn't. Especially in the games were already half of the year of 2023. And isn't this year supposed to be the year of Payday Free? And yet the only thing we got out of the officials, being the official devs, is a teaser trailer. That's not enough to keep your fans hyped. I mean, still, I was, I'm was i still going to get the game regardless. Regardless of all the shenanigans what's happening these past couple days. But people need extra more juicy info. And that gameplay is the key to keep people going. If you don't show us that, well, people's expectations for pay fee were high. Now it's just gonna have a little bit of roller coaster down all the way to the bottom, and don't even bother to go back up. They just want to quit the ride immediately. The second thing happening on the exact same day as Summer Game Fest was an update. For the PC Pay 2 being update 237. This one has crossed for many things. The first one is the Linux support or platform, a certain PC platform. And yeah, I'm going through the notes. Uh, note that the Linux users will not receive this update or any following updates coming to PC. In addition, Lux players will be unable to matchmake with other PC clients following this update. We try to find a solution, but ultimately find it unfeasible due to the Linux version being an older version of the Payday 2 engine. So, an older Payday 2 engine on the PC? That sounds like the exact same story that the piece that the console had problems with but that's not the case the reason is quite simple epic games yes epic game store now has pay to on their platform and that also means there's cross play in pay to between steam and epic games And people aren't really happy about it for a number of reasons. One, this was never announced at all. This just dropped like a freaking atom bomb. Two, it messes up the game, make it almost unplayable with f failed matchmaking, failed lobbies, a failed crime net, and also mods not working properly because of the epic online servers and also break a lot of stuff too such as side jobs the stuff you unlock like the north star sniper rifle and the copycat perk deck has been erased and these are locked behind so you had to do the grind again 
But thankfully, Overkill did release a hotfix that instead of keeping your previous stuff back from doing the side jobs, they made you unlock everything from the side jobs, even the stuff you didn't even participate or even attempt to. They will still give it for you to try to release some of that damage control, but I don't think that will be just enough. And back to Epic Games is probably the main reason why the long support um, has been dropped altogether because Epic Games doesn't want that. And of course, more importantly, why why is Epic Games on Payday 2 like right now? Like especially in this game's almost 10 year life cycle almost been out a decade and decided to add another platform to the game like seriously how many how many platform has paid to has been on like seriously has been on like what eight now eight seven times i just lost count but jesus christ like how do overkill keep that up Especially on a lousy fucking racing engine. That's beyond me. And they also made it free. But here's the thing. You don't even get to transfer your data, your Steam data, to Epic Games data when you're playing Payday 2. So if you want to restart all over again from all the stuff you've been collecting. And all the stuff you've been leveling up. Let's say you reach Infamy 100 on Steam. Well, good luck reaching it again on Epic Games. Oh boy. And now we have some leak infos regarding to Payday Free. There are two things I want to go up or cover up. The first one the leak shows was supposedly a release date for Payday Free, being September 18. I think it's the 18, but I do know it's in September, which I'm not sure if that's going to be true or not, but sometimes the leaks may turn out to be true, and sometimes the leaks, well, it's like they don't even exist at all. We just have to wait and see. The second leak, which... This one really got people up in arms with their pitchfork and torches. And that is... Microtransactions. Oh yes, the exact same style... What we would have saw in... Crying Fest 2015 with the black market update with the safes and shrills being sold separately. But this one is far worse because in Payday Free, supposedly there should be a certain microtransaction in a form of Payday credits. Similar to Rainbow Credits from Rainbow Six Siege, COD points from the COD series, and even the Far Cry credits from the Far Cry series. And pretty much many others like it beforehand on many of the major AAA titles. And the worst part about it. Overkill or Starbreeze never responds to this at all with the leaks that's been going around. They didn't say anything. And that hurts them because if they don't say anything and and the people who ch saw these leaks in their mind it's got to be microtransactions which looks like it turned out to be true. Hopefully that's not the case but since they didn't say anything we have a lot more imagine a lot more opinion and of course people's you know expectations and their you know dreams of well, playing the game has been now hit rock bottom like just like what i said before and this hurts them 
not only hurts us as the fans to see microtransactions in a game that's, you know, the game would have been better off without it. It also hurts reputation from for Starbreeze. And I say to Starbreeze alone because the higher ups, they usually have the final saying, the final answer. Even though some of the developers like Overkill and maybe some of the few people, well, employed at Starbreeze may not agree with the final decision. When it goes, it goes. But this also hurts for Payday Free because this is their lifeline, their final pillar to keep the building intact. And the fact that they don't care about trying to damage control these leaks, you're going to have people have their backlash concerns similar to how the fans were treated when they saw the well black market update from crime fest 2015 people will retaliate absolutely and now some of the paid content creator uh, not paid but some of the major pay to content creators have decided to leave Decide to uninstall Payday 2 because they see it's unacceptable, and usually they mark their final video that they didn't want to turn like to be going out this way. And and also it's hard for them because most viewership relies on them posting dissing out the content for that game. So if you're not doing Payday 2 stuff. What the hell are you going to do next? Call of Duty? Battlefield? Killing Floor 2? That's not going to work for them because they need find somehow to get a lot more money. In the case for me though, I don't care about that stuff. And that's the one thing you should never do for your channel and that is never try to focus on one main channel on a certain thing being, well if you're a gaming channel, well don't try to focus with just one game or at least one franchise. Try to mix it up a bit. And see where that goes. But back to topic of Payday Free. It doesn't look too good for the game. Especially when we see leaks of either the release date but more importantly the microtransactions. It really got people's up in arms about it. And to me, if Payday Free fails, then of course that would mean Overkill fails and Starbreeze fails. And there's no way for them to come back from this at all. Because they're already out of a reconstruction phase. They have been offered a second chance. And they seem to they throw that second chance out in a trash can. If they keep up being silent like this. Hopefully. Hopefully they can get around. And try to pull their head out of their asses. And try to get the situation under control. Before it can get damage even worse. <laughs>